Hey guys, welcome back to the Rado Waxing in UK One World channel. So, on a very familiar set of skis, this is a good friend of mine, Mark, uh, and he rocks an Atomic Nomad Black Eye TI ski with matching bindings. And I have serviced these on the channel, so do check it out on the videos. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, check out all the videos, because all the videos are different, but the before and afters are awesome. I must say so myself. However, we have serviced these before, and... Um, I love these skis, really, really nice skis. I actually serviced them on my bench over there before I built this one. And this is kind of what started it all off. This guy who owns these skis got me into skiing and snowboarding. If it wasn't for him and the trip that I went on, I wouldn't be so passionate about it. So uh, yeah, he actually managed to convince my other half to go and uh, that's led me into a whole new world. So down the rabbit hole I fell and I am loving it. So guys, we're gonna detail these. I'm gonna pop you in my hand. And let's take a detailed look at what is needed to these Atomic Black Eyes. Here we go. Now these skis are a few years old. Um, they've got a few battle scars, but they have been used and they have been shredded. And they have been very well looked after, to be honest. Um, I put it down to them being serviced here, of course. But no, to be honest with you, they are very, very good. The rails um, are a little bit discoloured in areas. We've got some brightening up to do and some sharpening to do. We've got a little bit of corrosion, which you can see just here. So we'll get all that detailed and we'll take the dullness out. But again, they're not too bad whatsoever. I've got a little bit of P-Tex just to lay down on a couple of gouges. Um, but yeah, these are going to come up lovely. A few chatter marks just here and on here. Um, but yeah, all in all, a bit of love and away we go. Now on to the other ski. Again, very much the same kind of story. We've got a bit of rust just here on this ski, um, but no kind of real fresh marks. Got a bit of a gouge just here and a couple of little holes just here. But yeah, all in all, kind of like a standard bit of love and these things will come up looking great. So we've got quite a dull finish on here and you'll see at the end, this would be nice and enriched and the rails will be super shiny, emphasizing the color of that base. And we'll try and pull this structure. You can see those lines that are going across back out as well so bit of tunes you know the score if you're an avid watcher bit of time lapse let's detail these skis here we go Okay, so these Atomic Nomads are fresh out of the hot room and as normal fashion, wrong scraper, right scraper. We're gonna get this nice and sharp and we're gonna take this wax off and polish this ski up. We're gonna do the same to that one and then you'll see the before and after. I am looking forward to this. Black always comes up lovely on the base of a ski. Having said that, I am a bit of partial to a coloured ski, a bit like the yellow one behind me on the snowboard. That was a real hard board to do. If you haven't checked it out, then obviously do go down through my videos and have a look because there is a lot of detail, a lot of work, core shots, edging, you name it. I kind of get involved in everything. So it's lovely. But anyway, stay tuned. Let's crack on and get these atomics polished. This is kind of the before and after. You can just see the grayer base and material on here. We've got to base scrape this, but this is the before shot. And we're going to go over to the deep shine of the after. There we go. These skis are ready to fly. So another set done in the Rider Waxing Workshop. These Atomic Nomad Black Eyes are off to the French Alps and they are gonna have an awesome time. They've come up so, so good. That color is just immense. Before and after, it's just phenomenal. From your tip to your tail, just brilliant. I've got to clean up the top coat because they're covered in dust. As you can just see, it's falling off of me like dandruff. But onto the other ski, just as good. Great color, great reflection, 
that set of fissures behind me are as good. If you haven't checked out my short section in YouTube, then go ahead and do that. There's lots of little 30 second videos, which are really, really cool. But yeah, there we go. One set all done. Sharped, dull and tipped, fully polished, detailed, Teflon coated. We are ready to fly on the set of skis. So guys, thank you very much indeed for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share with your friends. But until next time, we will see you soon.